Yeah, so um, I was sort of presenter of the, the second paper today in this section. And uh, I would like to present uh, one of the, our book called AMSAM, like, uh, stand for Adoptive Multiple Product Summarization towards improving recommendation captions. Uh, this work I have been done during my internship with Amazon uh, last summer. All right, so the motivation of this work start with the recommendations that are actually being displayed on the e-commerce website uh, nowadays. Uh, as you can see here, I uh, have a couple of examples of the, the recommendation. Uh, we call it recommendation widget, where we organize uh, a multiple item recommendations into a, a block. Uh, some platform call it a carousel. Uh, so as you can see, this in this particular example is uh, a, a recommendation widget from where uh, amazon.com website. Um, in this particular uh, recommendation widget, we notice two particular problems. So as you can see, there's this particular title sometimes referred to as a caption of the widget. Uh, they usually tend to be a general and like handcrafted in a sense. So it's not very subjective uh, and, and very specific to the recommendation content so we would like to make it more adaptive and specific to the, to the content. So make uh, the user experience better when they browse the recommendation. Uh, the second uh, smaller uh, problem that we also notice is that the product titles that being displayed in this widget, uh, sometimes either very short or very long, like too wordy in the sense. So we would like to standardize uh, that would actually have to uh, generate a better caption as well. So we formulate the problem. We call them a multiple product summarization. The input to this problem is the, the everything contains in the recommendation widget that I just uh, uh, introduced. So basically we have a set of uh, recommended items or products, right? And each of the product we have access to the catalog features of each of the product. So the goal of the task is to generate uh, a widget name, or, or sometimes we refer to it as a caption. Uh, this could serve as a better form of recommendation justification. Why uh, we recommend those items to user, or uh, also recommendation explanation in the sense that the user maybe um, explain why uh, those items being recommended. Uh, for example, here I take a look at the uh, take a look at this particular example where we can actually uh, generate some caption like this: explore more TVs with different brands and display sites. For example, instead of just like explore other similar TV. So uh, I will show a more concrete example later on when we come to the end. But uh, for now, let uh, take a look at the the formulation that we did in this problem. So we formulate this one and two tasks. So we solve uh, task one, basically for each particular product, we try to come up with a small um, a more neat summary for, for each product. Those products could serve as the, the title, a product shorter title, uh, more standardized, and it's also highlight important attributes that we want to uh, take into account in the, in the caption, which is the output of the task two. So in the task two, we have a list of the summaries for all the items in the widget. And then we try to generate a widget name or widget caption to serve as the, the title for the whole uh, widget. So there are a few challenges that we face when we start uh, dealing with this problem. Uh, so we have limited human labels uh, because the problem is very new to both industry and academia. No one has uh, taken a look at this uh, problem before. Uh, and different product we have uh, a lot of different product types, like uh, soft light, like fashion, things like that, or, or hot lights, uh, electronics, consumables. Those different product types may have different important uh, attribute uh, we would like to, to highlight to the user. Uh, and also we have a different form of recommendation. Right? Sometimes we have recommendation of substitute or, or complementary. So that might require a different uh, modeling approaches. <laughs> So uh, we created a few data set uh, based on the real uh, data that uh, they from, from Amazon. Uh, 
here we take a look at these three particular categories like fashion, electronics, and office uh, items. Uh, for those particular categories, we derive some form of uh, serial labels. Um, I'll try to sh show an uh, example later on, but uh, because we don't have human labels, so we try to arrive at some heuristic rules to, to create uh, some form of uh, serial labels and we would like to, the model to learn uh, based on that label. And, and then we create another set of human labels. So this is a bit limited, so a smaller set than the, the serial labels that we have, but this would help to fine tune the model. Uh, after we, we change on the serial labels. And then we use a subset of that to do evaluation to see how well the model could perform as compared to the, to the human level of a label. Right, before going into the details of the, the result that we obtained, I would like to introduce the, the architecture that we introduced um, to solve this particular problem. Uh, so as we mentioned earlier, that we are going to solve like two tasks as a hierarchical approach. We start at the bottom here, uh, with the first task, uh, the single product summarization. So basically for each product, we would like to generate a, a summary for that product. And then we use that, we use that output to uh, basically uh, take that input to the second task to generate the, the which name in the end. So that, that is our final goal. And there are two particular uh, blocks that we introduce here. That, the first one is a Fourier transformer, which you use for each of the product. And the second uh, part is the recurrent Fourier transformer, which you use to generate the widget name. Uh, I will go into detail each of the uh, block. Uh, here, we start with the first block, which is a Fourier transformer that you use to generate uh, the single product summary. Uh, so the idea is that uh, we, we make use of the um, recent uh, improvements in the uh, neural network trying to, to generate text. So here we based on the BART architecture, which is one of the state-of-the-art state model to, to generate a summary. Uh, the idea is that we, we have the encoder block that you transform in neural architecture, right? Very uh, familiar with, uh, I think uh, a lot of us know the transformer block already. So the idea is that we encode the text from the product, right? The title, some of the catalog features of the product. So we encode that text in, and then we have another block, the decoder block, trying to generate a text. And we use this output of this, this, this uh, uh, encoder. And then we, on top of that, we take a look at the ideas of using pointer uh, network, which have been uh, early applied for the summarization problem. So the idea of the uh, pointer network is actually uh, not only trying to generate the vocabulary distribution over all the words that we can generate, we also trace back to the input text. And then we see whether there are important words inside the input text that, that we want to copy over to the output. So that's actually uh, produced as this copy distribution. So combining these two distribution, in the gated mechanism, we have the final distribution of all over the words that we can generate. And then that's how us to generate the, the next word over and over until we reach the end. So that's the whole idea of this water transformer block, trying to generate the, the summary from each of the product. So with, with that particular uh, block, we experiment on the, the first task, which is trying to generate the summary for each product. And this is the result that we compare to uh, the state of the art, which is the path model, uh, which is a transform based model. Uh, that's this uh, pointer uh, generator that um, uh, earlier being widely uh, used as a baseline for summarization problem. And then we experiment with the uh, sequence to sequence model, basically the sequence to sequence model with attention, like the LSTM uh, kind of model with attention. Uh, and then we have this uh, super label, super label that we are uh, generated using the, the heuristic rule that I introduced earlier. And then this is the original text uh, of the, the, the product that uh, inside the uh, Amazon at, at the moment. And then we try to compare that with the new human labels that we want to uh, our model to actually uh, strive for. So this, this um, label have us to evaluate the performance and uh, the mean file tool, our model, 
actually obtain uh, the best performance compared to all the base slides that we compare with uh, early and it's much better than, than the original title that currently we display on the Amazon website. Uh, we compare across a few different metrics, uh, like widely used metrics to evaluate the, the general text in the summarization, summarization problem. Uh, here is uh, another uh, ablation analysis to, to see um, whether uh, with the small subset of the human label to fine tune the model on top of the zero label, which is the very last column here. So you can see that uh, if we train on the slow labor, we obtain about like uh, under uh, eighty percent, for example, for the uh, Roche one uh, score. And uh, with a small subset of human labor to fine tune the model, it actually can obtain like more than five six percent. So it's go above eighty five percent as an example. So this just to showcase that just a small subset of human labor, we can boost the model performance. So the model can train on a very large. Uh, amount of uh, zero label that we have, uh, we generate using some heuristic rule and then we use some uh, small amount of human label to obtain much better results. Uh, this, I would like to show a particular case study. So this is a real uh, uh, text that we can actually generate uh, as compared to the original title of the product display on the Amazon website. Right? So you can see that this is very long, uh, title, it's kind of spam, right? So the, the, the seller trying to put a lot of information into the title. But then after um, learning and our model can actually generate a more neat uh, title, very standardized, and then can actually try to highlight important attributes here, like uh, the colors or the, uh, the size of the uh, fashion items, right? Uh, and the materials, for example. So, so this is the, uh, a good achievement for the new uh, title of the, of the product. Uh, we call it a summary of, for each product, right? So that, that is the first task. And um, I would like to go over to the, the second task, which is our final goal, which we would like to, to generate the final widget name or widget caption. Uh, so this relies on the block that we call the recurrent or the transformer. Uh, so why recurrent? Um, Support so the transformer is similar to the previous block, but the idea is that we have the transformer encoder and decoder uh, block for each of the uh, product summary that we have, right? So each of these blocks is going to generate the uh, representation for each of the product. But then we need a recurrent layer on top of that to aggregate all the representation of each of the product. Uh, it has to be in this sequential order because the recommendation the, the recommended items in the widget actually order uh, based on the relevance of the relevant score you know, of, of, of the recommendation. So we need this uh, form of uh, sequential order. So we apply a recurrent layer on top of that. And then after we have this uh, representation of all of the product combined, then we apply the party network on top of that to, to generate the, the widget name. So the idea of party network I just introduced earlier. So uh, basically that is, that is a rough idea. Uh, for more details, you can uh, take a look at our paper uh, to see all the, the, the small um, little details. Uh, so with this particular recurrent for the transformer block, we uh, about to, to obtain uh, a much better performance as compared to the uh, baseline, the BART, which is a transformer based model, right? And we experimented with, because it's the recurrent layer, right? So. Uh, we experimented with a few uh, different uh, pulling approach. So we uh, we experiment uh, compared with the uh, simply uh, pulling, like max pulling or average pulling of all the representation, which is doesn't take into account the sequential order of the, the recommended items. Uh, and then the two uh, versions of the LSTM or, or GRU uh, get it, uh, unit uh, to, to, to actually combine the representation. And then the best performing one here is the the one that's using the, the GRU. So with that, I would like to show a couple of illustrative examples. Uh, as you can see here, right? Uh, all these recommended items are TVs, right? And uh, the titles here, uh, below here, are the output of the, the first, first task, the task one. And then the, uh, the caption of the whole widget here is the output of the task two. So this is a real, uh, text generated by our models and uh, 
in the parts, right? This widget is going to be named I like uh, consider more similar item or something like that. But for now, you can see that this can generate a more subjective uh, caption, like more TVs with uh, OLED technology, different display size to consider. So this knows that this all TVs use the same technology, which is the OLED, and then uh, a more more uh, with different uh, variant uh, with a different display size. So uh, as user, if you browse this recommendation, you you understand much better the context of this recommendation. And uh, here's another example, like uh, how about these laptops with Chrome OS, different brands and colors. So I think it's it's, it's a much better experience to the user when they actually browse this recommendation on the e-commerce website nowadays. Uh, okay, so I think with that, I would like to come to some takeaways uh, from this work. So multiple product summarization formulation uh, for widget caption generation. So this is basically the, we formulate a new, new, new problem. And this actually have uh, impact to the user experience on the e-commerce website. So we formulate it as a, a widget caption generation. Uh, we propose this uh, framework called AMSUM, so it's a unified framework, and it's actually solved two tasks at the same time. So we have uh, generated the uh, summary for each product, so that serves as a much better standardized uh, title for the product, and then we have a much better uh, caption, so that is a multiple product summary for the list of the product that being recommended. And uh, we tackle uh, using the weekly uh, supervised learning because we don't have a lot of human label, but we can actually use a pseudo label first and then just use a small subset of human label to, to fight to the model. And the results are very promising, uh, both quantitative and qualitative, as I show that we, we have generated a very good uh, text and caption. Uh, and um, the plan is to actually uh, bring it to, to production and try to actually uh, make it better and then uh, show it on the uh, real e-commerce website. So I think with that, I would like to take uh, uh, questions, uh, okay. if any. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Tom, for great presentation and great work. So we have about one or two minutes to for questions. Does anyone have any specific question from Tom? So I would like to ask a question from you. So what do you see the future direction of this work? Basically, if someone wants to improve your work, what is your suggestion for that person? Yeah, thanks for the question. Uh, right, so basically at the moment, right, uh, what we have experimented with our model is uh, for the, the substitutes and the complementary uh, recommendation. Uh, but if you go to Amazon, actually there are there are other form of recommendations. So sometimes it's sponsor recommendations, or sometimes uh, a recommendation based on a different context. So and a different page have a different form of recommendation. So we would like to make our model more more general. Is it can actually adapt to different uh, scenario of recommendation and then generate a, a much better uh, uh, caption for for the for the for the widget. So that is actually the, the direction for this work. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's great. Thank you. Thank you for the response.